Da Vinci Resolve is changing forever. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not actually getting a price increase. You know, there will be a free version and a studio version. What I said at the beginning may sound a bit dramatic even, but I can assure you it is not too dramatic. There are a lot of new features, which you can test out for yourself right now because the beta is live. In case you're wondering what page I'm on right now, I'm on their support page. I'll put a link in the description below. It's where you go currently. The easiest place to go if you want to download the beta. Yes, DaVinci Resolve 20 is in public beta, okay? Now, if you go to download history, you'll see some downloads. You just scroll down till you find what you want, okay? The DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 Public Beta. There's DaVinci Resolve 20 Public Beta. The difference is, of course, as you may have guessed, one is studio, one isn't. So, the thing is, there's been so many updates with coming with 20. Things like AI being able to remove silences. Yeah, technically we can already remove silences, but this is more refined. AI being able to actually make it so we can make our music longer and AI would just sort of fill in the blanks as it were. Now, that's simple me simply saying it. I know there's like a little bit more of a technical jargon behind it, but that's it. Oh, and this, this personal feature I'm probably the most excited for. And that is OBS, or rather not OBS. OBS is the program I currently use to do this, if I'm being honest. But what's happening is DaVinci Resolve is finally getting an easier access for recording voiceover. Now, you could technically always do this in Fairlight. If you went to the Fairlight tab, you could do it no problem. That's just something you could do. But they have made it Easy, okay? They added it to the edit tab. Yes, they added it to the edit tab. So all you have to do is, you know, press a few buttons on the edit tab and you can record a voiceover. It lets you pick what track you want to record it to. There's also, you know, a few other awesome things here like AI multi-cam, smart switch, and AI audio assistant. Audio assistant is interesting because from what I understand, you literally say, okay, can you make this sound as good as possible or whatever? And it changes settings for you to try to make it sound good. It tried to balance out, like say you have one noise super louder than the other. It, it seems pretty intelligent. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And I assume some of these features will eventually, once it's out of beta, make its way to the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve 2. I'm not sure, but yeah, it seems pretty cool. Like I said, the biggest thing I am excited for is the voiceover thing, but I'm also excited for all the other stuff to play around with, including what you're seeing right here, animated subtitles. Yes, 
we can finally animate subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. I mean, we can't like full on put whatever animation we want on them, but there is an option to give them some kind of animation. Now, I would show you guys a demo, but embarrassingly, I do not have DaVinci Resolve 20 downloaded. I know what you're thinking. Hey, just get this video and download it yourself. Well, that's something that I want to also mention here. That beta, okay? It's in beta, meaning that it's not a stable version, okay? So that's why you actually have to come down here or follow the link in the description below and even download it this way to begin with. Because since it's not stable, it's not like in the live, live thing yet. So your DaVinci Resolve 19 won't see an update and try to download an update because there is no update. This is in beta. It's in public beta, which me basically means they deem it stable enough for the public to test it out, but not stable enough for it to be a full release. So if you don't like stuff that is extra finicky, may crash a lot more, may do some weird stuff, then I'd say stick with the stable version. As much as I want these features right now, I will be sticking with the stable version for now, because, you know, if I get time, maybe I'll download this, play around with the features. But right now, since it's not stable, you don't want to, like, put your, say, you spent, like, three, four hours filming something and then edit it. You can edit it in the public beta, no problem. But... You know, you got to be aware that bugs and stuff may happen. That's just the nature of the beta. But as you can see, you can download DaVinci Resolve be public beta or DaVinci Resolve Studio public beta. Now, I will admit, Studio has a bunch of extra features added. Like this time, they won't playing around. Basically... Most things that have to do with AI are studio exclusive. They are really doubling down on, you know, AI here. But if you're not studio, don't worry. That extra stuff like the text plus graphic layout improvement. And I mean, that other stuff too. Oh, voice over thing, okay, keyframe editing. Okay, see, you guys are getting some stuff in the free version as well. See, I personally have the studio version. I got it a while back. I honestly regretted it when I buy it first, but I don't, I haven't regretted it for, for a while now, but yeah, I can understand it's a little pricey. So if you're doing DaVinci Resolve for the first time, I recommend sticking with the free version. And then if you find yourself wanting some of the paid features, you can potentially upgrade to Studio if you find yourself wanting or needing the paid feature. But yeah, I'm going to end it off here. I didn't mean to go for as long as I did even. I will catch you guys in the future. Later.